All right, it's time. DK back with StarCraft tutorial here, folks. Uh, one commenter left a message to me saying how to do like, you know, turn on lights, like vision for players, like turn on and off. So I'll be showing that today. And before you notice that I'm using a different map editor, this is uh, called SCM Draft 2. The normal map editor, which is the regular star edit, does not allow you to uh, give you a lot of you know, trigger functionality. So let me just add a screen here to tell, like, show you guys what I'm talking about. So we have this screen here in the middle-ish area where I gotta keep adding screens unfortunately, but you know, just just bear with me. I think I'm player one for this one? Wait, I forgot. Yeah, I'm player one, so. Um, let's see, we, we got a... What the heck is going on? Okay. I got a screen in a screen, guys. What the heck's going on? Not, we don't want this. Anyway, let's add this screen here. So this is done by clicking the trigger like right here and uh, you see this, okay, I gotta move this window to there. Then I gotta add this screen because why not? Because this recording program's junk. Okay, let's click player one. Let's go to conditions. And then let's say you wanna turn well you wanna turn on vision, then you go to always. And you want to turn on vision for, let's say, I don't know, yellow. Then you go to, okay, is, is this not showing again, guys? Is it not showing? Of course it's not showing. Okay, then we have this uh, action uh, box here under actions tab. And then you just go to the run AI script here. And then if you like, if you click this, there's going to be a lot of uh, scripts unlike the normal map editor but if you scroll down there should be a thing called turn on shared vision for player as you can see player one two three four five six seven blah 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 and there's also turn off this is only achievable with a third map third party map editor okay just remember that there is no actual script for this in the normal base map editor so if you want to use this you either there's two ways to do shared vision. You have to either uh, export, no, not export, import a trigger from a different map that you can open that utilizes this kind of trigger, or you, you completely ditch the normal map editor and just download start SEM Draft 2.0 or whatever. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I got a call just now. Let me. Let Okay, anyway, where was I? Let's turn on the music again. So, like I said, you can just download SCM Draft. Okay, it's very easily accessible. I'm using an outdated version, but I'm gonna keep with this version because I'm kind of comfortable with it. Although, I should probably update this sometime in the future. But anyway, let's see. Let's say we want vision on player 8, which is yellow. You just do this. Press OK. And that's pretty much it guys. That this is very simple. Like let's let's review this. At the start of the game, we or us as player one have full access to player eight's vision. And that's basically it. And you can also make this in a way. Let's 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 um okay, you know, let's make it like this now. Let's see, um uh... Let's make a beacon for player 8. And then a player 1 turn beacon. Which is gonna be player 1, not yellow, player 8. Okay, so and then let's make some boxes. This um this is gonna be turn on vision. And this is turn off vision. And unfortunately, my current SCM Draft 2 does not show uh, the text here for some reason. I don't know why it does that. It's because outdated. It's outdated, but you can access it right here. Like if I click like, on the left side of the editor, there's like the location layers that I made, and these are all the past location layer boxes that I made. 
But anyway, let's let's make a condition in a way that if player if this red SCV brings itself to the yellow beacon, then it'll turn on vision for player. Then it'll show us where player A is. And then if this goes to the red beacon, then it'll turn it off. So it's very simple. Let's go back to the trigger box, which for some reason is showing these again. Uh, okay, let's let's remove this. I don't know why it does that. It's so buggy. Okay, and I gotta add screen again. Yes, screen, screen capture this. Okay, and instead, so let's go. Let's examine this box here, right, right here, guys. So I gotta add screen capture once again, which shows over here. So player one, and then instead of and then when we go to conditions, instead of always, we're gonna change this to player one brings exactly one SCV. Terran SCV to turn on vision. Okay, do you guys see this? I didn't show the box for how I did it, but you you can replicate how I did this, okay? If you just follow what I did up to now. So let's do that. And then we go to the actions tab and it'll show uh it'll, then it'll do turn on shared vision for player. Eight. And we wanna have this preserved trigger, guys. Keep that in mind. Why? Why I do this? Okay. Anyway, um, no, actually, no, not not preserve trigger. Okay, let's do it like this. Um, and then, and then if he, and then back to the conditions. If he doesn't bring any SCV to turn off vision, then it will turn. Okay, so this makes more sense. Okay, we'll do this. And then we're gonna copy pieces and then make it so that. This guy goes to off vision. Uh, this is on vision. You know, this is actually redundant. Okay, let's remove this. Yeah, let's actually remove this. This is uh, okay. DK having brain fart here, guys. And apparently, there's yeah, there's two trigger, two same windows here for some reason. It's fine. Okay, anyway, I rep, I copy pasted this, and then instead of turn on shared vision for this bottom box. I'll change it to turn off instead. Not player one. It'll be player eight. And then put the preserve trigger so I can turn it on and off and on and off. Yeah, that's it basically. Um, and if I do this, that means it'll show us where player eight is. So let's make a platform to prove to you guys that we can indeed see them. Okay, let's make this dark platform. No, 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 no. Actually, let's make this uh, solar ray, and we'll put, we'll make, we'll make some bold zerg units here. So I like bold some shield units instead, like some unclean ones, hunter killer, divine one, the trio, and then if you if you click them, like that. Okay, so it shows this box again for some reason. I want to show this box. If you right click them or double click them, whatever this box shows, and it shows all this, I want them bold. So you gotta click that. And then, as you can see from the, and then if I close this box, as you can see here, they're bold. These Zerg units are bold. And we'll be able to see them. And that's pretty much it. So let's, let's get my StarCraft running. Yeah. Okay, I gotta wait a bit. Meanwhile, just listen to the good old, good old uh, terror music. Yep, pretty much. That's basically it for turn on and off vision. One main important thing to note about is just downloading an advanced map editor, literally. Okay, let's wait for my StarCraft to turn on. And then I'll show, show what just happened here. Very straightforward. And there are other various... Other various uh, triggers that you can toy around with in the... In the advanced map editor. Okay, let's turn off the turn music, I guess. Okay, and we're just waiting here. Yeah, I believe um, the SCM draft 
uh, is also available in the general uh, discussion in the StarCraft forum. So if you're unsure where to get this, just go to that uh, platform, not platform, the forum there, and then the people will gladly help you, I suppose. Just be mindful of the trolls there. Alright, let's... Okay, so this was... Okay, let me let me revert back to this one. I'm gonna show you guys what I just did. Okay, it's not custom, huh? Force of Habits. It's under my maps. And it's tutorial 2. Okay, let's do this. See, right now, we don't have vision of player 8. Because obviously, I placed some units here. But we don't see them. So let's what let's see what happens if I bring my SV to this yellow beacon. Yes, Hola, voila! It shows them even broke guys. It shows all of the yellow players' units. Huzzah! And now I don't want to see them anymore because they're gross and ugly. Oh, we turned off vision, guys. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, but then I'm having another feels, and I want to see them again. Bring my SCV here. After a few delay, it's gonna show them again. Wow! Very interesting. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Very straightforward. You turn on vision, you turn off vision. Remember to do the preserve trigger, which is what I did. And that's it for DK. I guess this is gonna be a short tutorial. This is very important, guys, especially when. You set up your own campaign and create a co-op, like co-op computer, if you will. You want to make sure you have vision over your computer ally. This is how you do it, guys. What I set up, okay? Of course, not this condition where I say bring SCV to this beacon, blah, blah, blah. You just swap that into always, okay? At the start of the game or in a certain condition. Like, let's say you destroy something and then it'll like, turn on vision. Like what I'm doing here, kind of similarly. Anyway, that's it for DK, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this short one. Signing off.